Well, we are in full bore summer, and almost as if on cue, we hit lunchtime, and here it comes. The development of at least a few showers and thunder showers. You've got some lightning up around uh, the Georgetown plant, the Toyota plant, and as well across southern Scott County, northern Fayette County. Some showers extending out through Paris, which is where the first one welled up just about uh, half an hour ago, and that uh, continues out through Carlisle, one out towards Lawrenceburg as well. Big picture, uh, this is a couple of hours of data, so 1130, there you can see, just before noon, starting to see the development of those showers and thunder showers. Notice how they aren't moving much. Once again, they're just going to plod along and dump locally heavy rain and maybe some stronger wind gusts your way. Uh, so we've got that started. Severe weather out west. The severe storms have continued to march south and east. You can see those pushing into Arkansas. This is where the severe threat is for today, a marginal to slight risk. And then tomorrow there's an enhanced risk across the Dakotas. So not too concerned about severe weather. We are wedged between that active weather west, our little scattered stuff we're dealing with now, and this. So you can see the swirl of cloud cover off the Carolina coast. National Hurricane Center is keeping an eye on that for some potential development. Maybe Fay, uh, maybe not, uh, but definitely going to lash the mid-Atlantic up through New England coastline late this week and into the weekend is a potentially tropical system. So may have an update on that for you later on today uh, from the Hurricane Center. Future track, yeah, very hit or miss showers or thunder showers, pretty limited development. The one thing that could be beneficial is extra cloud cover that'll put the brakes on the sunshine and the temperature rise because it's hot and it's steamy out there. Here comes a cool front that's actually going to work its way through the Commonwealth. So tomorrow afternoon and evening, scattered showers and storms are best shot at more widespread coverage compared to, you know, the uh, stray showers or storms or the few that we've been seeing each afternoon. That front will push through. It'll briefly cut the heat and humidity over the weekend. We're still going to be in the mid 80s and we will still be hot and muggy tomorrow, but you may notice a little, little bit of relief later in the weekend. Uh, out of Bluegrass Airport, it's already 86 degrees. Of course, it's 90 in Mount Sterling, 91 in Richmond. You throw the humidity in, it's swampy air. The dew points are in the low to mid 70s. It feels like it's in the mid to upper 90s for the heat index in spots. So the heat is on, and we're going to be around the low 90s for highs today. There's your little bit of a dip this weekend. It is hot and muggy enough that there is a heat advisory in effect across Ohio, and it includes our northeastern counties where those heat indices may approach triple digits. So this is the kind of weather you just want to take it easy. Even though we do not have a heat advisory in effect at the moment, uh, this kind of stuff can really take it out of you. The forecast heat index into the early afternoon while well, we're pretty much there, mid to upper 90s. Now you will notice a bit of relief tomorrow as we get a little more activity, but still it's going to feel like it's in the 90s at times. So not a lot of relief, but you know anything helps at this point because it's hot, it's muggy, and we've got that chance for a few to some scattered showers and storms, which we're just seeing starting to develop as we go through your afternoon. 72 for the overnight low. The eight day forecast. Well, there's that better chance for scattered stuff tomorrow, mainly in the afternoon and evening. And then that brief dip uh, coming up. We're going to talk more about the heat for next week. We could get into a hot and dry stretch. A little bit of a heat wave trying to take hold around mid July for us. All right.